What is going on everyone? It's your boy Wayne, the ultimate train. And today we got a video about training for everything. What is everything you may say? Everything life may throw at you under the sun. That's it. That's what we train for to be ready to go at a moment's notice. So how, how do we train for everything? It's a really easy concept. You got to have a wide variety of training. Uh, it's going to have to be smart training now. You can't just throw anything into a program and expect to get the best results. It has to be organized correctly. You don't want too much of one stimulus in the beginning of the week and then none in the second half. You don't want to miss parts of your body. So it's, it's important we go over how to train for everything because there is a way. There's the right way and there's the wrong way. <clears throat> so when we say train for everything, generally we have to begin by breaking down what is everything. Now, just to simplify this, when we say everything, we're just gonna to refer to GPP, or General Physical Preparedness. It's a physical term. It basically describes like people who are athletes for life, like they are ready to go at a moment's notice. If a friend calls them to move, they have the strength. If a friend calls them to go for a run, they're gonna race them. It doesn't matter, like they, they can jump, they can hop, they're mobile, they feel good in their body, and they have the ability to, to physically at least handle whatever life throws at them challenging or not so the way we train for this i said in a variety of training we have to have a wide variety of training but what does that mean your, your training methods they they have to be a little split and you're going to have to be a little knowledgeable about this going to have to have some kind of fitness programming background because it's a lot so when we start off with general physical preparedness the first thing we want to think about is strength so obviously you need strength training you need some you need to press some kind of challenging weight you need your body to be able to mentally recruit the motor units to, to produce them enough force. So we strength train. We might train a little bit in that lower rep range with the heavier weights. On the flip side, some days you want to do endurance training. So you want to hit the higher rep ranges, maybe 15, maybe 20, maybe 30. What can you do? Uh, endurance training is about seeing, uh, well, first of all, how long you can last, but how long you can last with a good quality of movement. So... We got strength training, we have endurance training. The next factor on the GPP list is cardio. Cardiovascular health is important. Uh, poor cardiovascular health means you have poor blood flow. Uh, your lungs, your body is not able to get enough oxygen to the muscles. And so that's gonna be a real hindrance. So we gotta make sure we train for that. Now in some capacity, like the endurance training will help cardio, but not entirely, so don't rely on it. You still may need to run at a jogging pace you still need, you still may need to take on a challenging incline so maybe at a faster walking pace not yet a run walk up an incline work those leg muscles get that heart rate up something cardiovascularly you hate running jump ropes even swimming uh staying in the sauna and getting some heat health that kind of thing stuff that makes your heart pump because life strength like strength being a skill uh cardiovascular ability is a skill as well and so if you're not used to breathing hard, if you're not used to like, you know, your heart beating, you got to get used to that so you can take advantage of it uh, when the time comes and when it does happen. So we have cardio, we have strength training, we have endurance training. Now we just got a little kind of smaller things, but they still kind of fall in those broader categories. Kind of in that strength resistance training area, we have plyometrics. So we're thinking like explosive stuff, stuff that gets you to move your body in a good fashion uh, and conditioning. Conditioning is similar to cardio. Maybe it's with a little bit of resist resistance thrown in. So like kettlebell swings, kettlebell jacks, uh, dumbbell push-ups, stuff like that. And then the very last thing, so we have strength, endurance, cardio, uh, conditioning, plyometrics. And the last thing for GPP is... Wow, I am drawing a blank. Mobility. The last thing is mobility. Uh, none of this stuff matters if you can't move to a comfortable range of motion without getting injured. I preach on mobility so much because it is important. Uh, if you don't have mobility, you're kind of trash. You just, you're kind of waiting for an injury to happen. And when this injury happens, it's going to knock you out the game. Then you got to take time off to recover. Then you got to build back up to where you were before. So mobility is important. It's just flexibility through a range of motion. So how do we work on that? We may do dynamic training in the beginning of the workout, or dynamic training, dynamic stretching in the beginning with some static stretching at the end. So we may do some moves that require a high ability to move, like a kettlebell windmill, like a, there's a lot of stuff that requires a good bit of mobility. 
but just practice those movements, get that down pat, get your body loose. Uh, when we train for these six things all together, we kind of create this image of GPP or how to train for everything. So if that interests you, this is, this is your video. Check it out, guys. Outlaw. Done.